Hello there, my name is Stephanie and welcome to a new beauty video on my channel House of Paper Doll. I hope you are keeping well. This video is all about this new product which is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillar Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. This is just launched so I thought I would test it out, show you what it looks like to apply and how it applies but also I'm going to compare it to the other two Charlotte Tilbury mascaras that are currently on the market to see how it performs and how it looks compared to those two mascaras which are the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes 2 Mascara and the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara. And in honor of the whole Pillow Talk theme, I am wearing the Pillow Talk lipstick and eyeshadow palette today. Very lightly, but I'm wearing a little bit of the Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette, blush and lipstick. So apparently the pre-sale waiting list for this was over 45,000, which is pretty impressive to say the least. So let's see what this mascara is all about. So this product currently is available in two sizes. This is the full size product, which is a 10 mil size. There is also a four mil size available, which obviously will be like smaller version of this, which is a great way to try the mascara if you're sort of not sure whether you want to splurge out on the um, on the full size one. The mascara has been launched just in one shade and that shade is super black. I have to say this is really super black. If you like sort of the black is black type of mascaras, then you will like the shade of this. Personally, I love that in a mascara. I have really small eyes and I love having something that adds a lot of definition. So a really dark black mascara for me is always something that I prefer. So the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara is promising volume, it's promising length, it's promising stretch. So the mascara also claims to have a 24 hour vertical lift effect which should amplify your lashes to allow your eyes to look bigger and more awake. So for me, in terms of my lashes, I have fairly short, sparse, pretty thin lashes. So a must for me is always length, but more so volume. I'm also looking in a mascara one that doesn't irritate my eyes, one that doesn't smudge, and one that is long lasting. So let's look at the packaging to begin with. Now I think Charlotte Tilbury always kind of kills it when it comes to packaging. I absolutely love her Art Deco sort of themed product. This mascara is definitely very, very pretty and very glamorous, very Charlotte Tilbury. It is a pastel pink with her signature sort of rose golding ribbed, I guess, detailing, similar to the, the ribbed detailing on her lipsticks. So let's have a quick look at the formula and the texture of what it sort of claims to be. So the formula apparently is infused with keratin, which conditions your lashes and helps to create a thicker look and feel to the lashes. It does feel, I have to say, it does feel really lightweight to apply. If you go back in and add a second layer, it does feel a little bit tacky. I find that this is quite a wet texture, therefore it does take quite a long time to dry, which is just something to consider, especially maybe around hay fever season or allergy season. It's also been produced with a lash lifting polymer, which is supposed to lift and hold your lashes. This, for me, I think is where this mascara comes into its own. I think it is amazing for lifting and holding the curl of your lash. It does amplify, so for me, this is where it really does stand out compared to a lot of other mascaras. I did find the consistency to be quite lovely and smooth. Um, it's not initially very clumpy, but because I think the style of the wand, which I'm gonna talk about in a moment, it, depending on your lash and the type of lash you have, I think you do have to be careful with application because the very first time that I tried this mascara, I literally like smudged it all over my eye by accident. I actually poked myself in the eye with one, which I wouldn't recommend doing. Um, I haven't experienced any irritation with this mascara. I have to say I've never had any irritation with any of the Charlotte Tilbury mascaras. So now I'm gonna look at the wand and the bristles. So this mascara has a diamond shaped bristles that follow your lashes to help fan them out and to hopefully avoid the clumping. The brush also has a flat side to help fill the product onto your lashes. So that will be what helps your lashes to look that bit fuller. So it's almost like having a little filler in between your lashes 
So for me, I have to say that I do normally prefer a fuller, sort of fatter brush. Um, I find that that gives me more of a natural look and it's just my personal preference. I find those sort of brushes, like the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Mascara, or Full Fat Lashes Mascara, I find that mascara really quick, really easy to apply. I find it works really sort of quick and easy with my lashes and my lash type. Having said that, the kind of brush for me is secondary. It is more on the actual performance of the product. I know a lot of people prefer these sort of bristles and this sort of wand, but maybe I'm a little bit more old school than that. I personally prefer the other sort of wands. I find these mascaras and this sort of wand a little bit more tricky and a little harder to use initially. Like for me, it takes a little bit of time to get used to these sort of wands or these sort of brushes. But I find once you kind of find your mojo and you find your groove with them, then, you know, with practice, it does become easier. And before you know it, you're applying it super quick. Okay, so in terms of application, the Charlotte Tilbury website, and I've watched a few videos as well, and they say to actually start with the flat side of the brush, and you're supposed to press it against the bottom of your lash line, and then sort of push and lift up your lashes as you kind of coat the product onto your lashes. Now, I found that when I did this for the first time, it just put way too much product, <clears throat> excuse me, it put way too much product on my lashes and I actually ended up with quite a lot of smudging on my actual eyelid. So I'm kind of going against what they tell you to do and I found the better way for me was to actually start with a bristle and kind of start applying as I would kind of just a normal mascara and just coat my lashes with the product initially just to kind of even the product out on my lashes. And then kind of when I was happy with how that was looking, then go in that little bit later with the flat side and press at the bottom or press on the lash line to sort of fill in in between the lashes to give more of a fuller, almost like liner effect. So I am wearing the product now on my lashes. So the tip apparently has been designed so that it makes it easier for you to coat every single little hair, every lash of your lashes especially if you are trying to get into the inner corner. I find it's really easy and useful for that. I always have a little bit of trouble with this side, but I think that's just because I'm right-handed and that's my left eye and I have a big nose. <laughs> so there's a lot, and I have deep set eyes, so there's a lot of work to kind of negotiate on that side. But um, if you prefer more of like the winged effect, then this is also, the tip is also really good for that, for creating those kind of outer lash winged look. So this mascara claims to be smudge, transfer, and humidity proof. I have to say so far in terms of smudging, this is so good. And um, once it's dry, it's very easy to smudge when it's still wet. But once it's dry, it's kind of like, that's it, it a budging, which is brilliant if you are Wearing this mascara all day, it's one that will really last really well. Okay, so we've zoomed in a little bit. Please excuse what I look like. Here goes. So when I'm applying mascara, I'm always quite conscious of getting mascara sort of behind the lashes because it's quite easy for that to happen on the shape of my eyes. So I'm trying to apply this really carefully so that doesn't happen because this is quite a wet mascara and because of this, the size of the brush, I find that it's easy for that to happen with this mascara. I love how this mascara instantly just curls your lashes upwards. I haven't used an eyelash curler but it does straight away open up and push up your lashes. Like it does do what it says on the packaging in that respect. So it definitely gives you a more of a wider eye and almost bigger eye look. You can also use the tip to kind of go along and try and get to every single lash, especially in the inner corner. So I'm gonna go in a bit more now with the flatter side of the brush, just to try and get a bit more definition at the bottom of my lashes. 
Also, because I find this is quite a wet mascara, you do get a lot of time to play with this. So it's not one of those mascaras that dries really quickly and you have to work really quick with it. It's one that you kind of can keep adding to, which is really good. But on the flip side of that, if you were to sneeze right now, I think I'd probably end up with a few black um, mascara smudges on my eyes. So it does take a little longer to dry. So you could go quite crazy with this mascara, to be honest. And I think if you already have a lot thicker lashes than me, then you would definitely get a false lash look effect from this mascara. Um, I'm gonna go in with the lower lash, just so you can see. I'm not gonna use the flat side with the lower lash, um, I don't think, because I think it looks a little bit too much on me. But, just kind of coating the bottom of my bottom lashes. I love the tip of it actually. It's really, really easy to use this tip to get in right into the inner corner and I guess the same with the outer corner. It definitely feels like you're painting every lap. Okay, so I'm trying to come as close without being really in your face. But um, this is what it looks like on a first sort of coating really. You could definitely go back in and add more. I really like it. I do think it opens up the eye so well. I love this curl effect that it gives, this like literally push up with your lash effect. So it saves you having to use eyelash curlers. I do feel that if I was to put too much product on, then my sort of lashes are very prone to clumping with too much product just because I don't have a lot of lashes anyway. So I always have to be quite careful with mascaras and how I apply them. Otherwise I can end up with them clumping really easily. I really like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in now and apply to this eye. Okay, so I have got a little bit of black smudge just come on the inner corner of my eye. I've been trying to be really good and try not to um, get any on, but I do think it is one of those mascaras that is prone for just getting a little bit of black on your actual eyelids. I love how it actually curls down the bottom lashes as well. It seems to like push them down a little. Okay, so. I would say they're both looking fairly equal now. Okay, so that's after one coat on each lash. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? So just a little summary of my thoughts on this mascara before I start comparing it to the other two Charlotte Tilbury mascaras. I have to say, so far, I am really, really liking it. I'm finding the more I use it, the more I'm falling in love with it. I wasn't so sure the very first time I used it, to be honest, but the more I'm getting used to the wand, the more I'm getting used to the texture, the more I like it. I absolutely love, love, love the way it pushes and amplifies my lashes. I don't think I've come across any other mascara that does this to my lashes so quickly. Normally I have to go in with quite a lot of coats to get to this point on my eyes, but to be able to kind of get that effect so quickly with this mascara, for me that is a definite win. I would say you do need to give it time to dry, you do need to give it time to maybe work with it, but it is a really good mascara, but it's one that I will definitely be using daily and as I go on, I will probably pop on my Instagram how I'm getting on with this and what my thoughts are maybe in like a week or two weeks, even a month time of using it. So this is kind of really my like initial thoughts of just been using this over the last sort of day or so. So which Charlotte Tilbury mascara will be my favorite after I've tried all three and shown you? So I don't currently have the full size mascaras in the legendary lashes or the full fat lashes. I do have travel size versions of the two. I do have a legendary lashes, but it's been used up quite a lot. So I don't think it would be a fair test. I think it'd be fairer to use these two testers that I haven't opened. So this is the first time I'm opening these to use. And because this is new as well, then that way they're all new products. So I'm gonna show you what the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara looks like on this side compared to the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes 2 Mascara on this side. So, 
the Legendary Lashes 2 mascara for me was a mascara that I used a lot for quite a long time. I haven't used it in a while, but it was one that for a long time was my everyday go-to. I absolutely loved it. I remember being at a an event, I think it was when it was launched or when Charlotte was actually talking about the launch of it. And there were so many of us that were just so excited about the Legendary Lashes mascara. I was a fan of the original Legendary Lashes, but I think for myself and a lot of people, the biggest issue with that one was um, the smudging. That issue was addressed with Legendary Lashes 2. It's such a great mascara for not smudging. I find that with Legendary Lashes, there's always a point where once I've applied it, I know that I need to stop because if I want to go in and even just try and create a bit more volume, it doesn't really let me without it looking really quite sort of false or some of my lashes sort of stuck together a little bit. So the winner for me without question out of those two mascaras is definitely the Pillar Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. I kind of feel like this is like an improvement on Legendary Lashes. I just prefer the volume that it gives. I feel like the Pillar Talk Mascara lengthens and obviously it curls a lot lot more and I just prefer the overall look of Pillar Talk over Legendary Lashes. So now let's do a comparison between the Charlotte Tilbury Pillar Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara which I will wear on this side of my face and I will pop on this side the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara which is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I love this mascara for every day and I love the look that it gives. So this for me is gonna be more where the battle lies, to be honest. So overall between those two, I actually think that the Pillow Talk one just pips it. In terms of definition, in terms of amplifying those lashes, to volumize those lashes and for lengthening, the Pillow Talk one does take some beating. If you are someone that has beautiful fuller lashes, then this product is probably gonna be an absolute dream for you. If you are more on kind of the thinner or more spare sort of side with your lashes like myself, then I think this for an evening is absolutely the one to go for, for a mascara. I do normally wear false lashes if I go out. I know we're not really kind of going out now, but in a normal world, when we're hopefully back to normal, if I were to go out, then I would normally wear quite a light or quite a natural looking false lash. I feel like I can definitely get the same result, if not probably better with this mascara. So this would, for me, save me having to wear false lashes, potentially on nights out or if I'm doing like a shoot or anything like that. But I feel like once I am more used to this product, then hopefully I can be as quick applying this product. But I do feel like you do need to be careful still with the amount of product that goes on your lashes to begin with. I love the full fat lashes, but I think this one just on overall performance and the look that you can achieve with this mascara, I think just pips it. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of this mascara. Is it a hit for you? Is it one you're not sure of yet? Are you considering buying it or not? Also let me know what your favorite mascara is or what your favorite Charlotte Tilbury mascara is. I would love to know. But thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you soon on another beauty video. Thank you, bye.